All right. Uh, Swamp Thang. <laughs> Swamp Thang. Swamp Thang. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go with this totally, obviously PG-rated film. Yes. With more tits than pornos <laughs> that I've watched. A crazy amount of tits. Yeah. Like, bare, naked titties close up in the camera right. and being shown in an explicitly sexual way. Mm -hmm. This isn't just like... I remember when I was in school... We had to watch, like, we had to watch this movie. And we had to get, like, parents' permission. Of course, my mom didn't give a shit. But, like, there was nudity in the film. A woman, it was a woman who was naked and she was swimming. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say it was, like, Blue Lagoon or some movie. It had some relevance to whatever class we were in. I think the teacher just wanted to jack off. I don't honestly know why. But I remember this was just like, and, and Americans have sexualized the, you know, the naked body, right? Like there's nothing inherently sexual about a naked body, right? Like the naked body is just a naked body and you can sexualize it, right? You can put it in a provocative way to make it sexualized, mm -hmm. but like a naked tit, like I just went to my brother's freaking, uh, you know, kid's birthday and uh -huh. his wife just gave birth. And I walked in and she was breastfeeding her kid, pulled her boob right out in front of me. She, I don't think she knew I was there, <laughs> but like I walked in and I was just like, okay, like she's feeding the baby. There's nothing sexual about her tit right there, right? She's sure. giving life, you know, food to this kid. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, boobs are not really sexual. So like when you're seeing a girl swimming in the ocean naked, like if you were growing up in like France or something, right? If you're in the, like the French Riviera where there's fucking like people naked on the beach and everything like nobody cares like it's not sexualized in that way because you're around it like that but we very much as a culture have like you know sexualized nudity um so there are my point being the roundabout way of getting to the point here <laughs> is that like just because it's nudity doesn't mean that it's sexual right and so like pg for nudity it, in that time, I totally get. I totally understand when there's like Jaws and you see the girl swimming out there in the ocean. You can see that her body is naked. And if you have like a clear 4K copy of it like I do, she's naked. You can see her nipples and everything. And it's fine. Like she's not sexualized, right? <laughs> she's just, the point of that is that she is, um, she's vulnerable, Right. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's why there's so many shower scenes. Like that's the psycho shower scene, right? It's the, the nudity is a, is a form of vulnerability that you have no protection that, that you're in like this almost baby like state where you have nothing around you to protect you. So like the, this, this is so interesting to me that this got a PG rating when there's literal like topless dancers yes. around a bunch of men. Yeah. And they're all like sexually engaged with them because this is a titty bar. And these girls are like provocatively dancing and taking their bras off and like shaking their tits in front of the camera and mm. squeezing on them and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. how did this get approved? And right before that scene, Adrienne Barbeau, the lead of the movie, she is, she is bathing in the swamp which i don't think i don't know how clean you'd get in the swamp um but she's bathing in the swamp and the shot is from like here up and she's just sitting there and she's just washing her body and playing with her tits and doing all this and uh, the swamp thing's watching her mm -hmm. and it's very erotic and this goes on for at least a full straight minute yeah, of just her time. sitting there like massaging your tits and bathing and full dead on gratuitous nudity and then hard cut to a strip club yeah. where girls are playing with their tits in, in sexual provocative ways. I, How this got a PG rating is fucking unbelievable to me. I definitely think that Wes Craven, like I want to look more into wherever, because I heard this a while ago and I don't, I never like listened to the interview or read the interview. I don't know where it's from. But, like, his, like, scream is kind of, 
you know, Sydney, he's supposed to be sort of, like, making amends for all the other, like, final girls and all these other, like, sexualized women, mm. you know, that he, like, his movies kind of exploit the female body in a lot of ways, and I don't You mean, like, I don't the porno he made? A hundred percent in all his <laughs> movies, but yeah, I mean, he's obviously made porn, which is ex- super exploitive of women's bodies and women, and, you know, like, Last House on the Left that we watched, like, there's rape and, you know, nudity in that, the Hills Have Eyes, it's, there wasn't really anything in there that I remember. Yeah. Right? But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, he definitely has, like, which is fine to have nudity in, in your films, for sure. But I've, I don't know. It's just interesting to see, like, his early work and, like, to have heard that. I would really like to find, like, more context in what, you know, in that. If that's a real thing or if I'm just, like totally off base on on remembering i've never heard this yeah so yeah that's that would be complete news Mm -hmm. to me uh i don't think he has to make amends for anything well i'm i said amends but i don't think it was like that no i know but i don't i don't don't think i don't think he has anything to worry about i mean horror fans are well, simple people it's funny because you're like talking about those kinds of all those shower scenes and such with like n- na- naked women and, and whatnot but they are all sexualized like there's been a few movies that we've watched where nudity is shown in a way that's not overtly sexual it's just like a woman naked or a man naked or whatever but like a lot of those scenes that are meant to be like the females vulnerable they are also shot in ways that are very sexualized I mean, the shower scene from Psycho is not sexualized. Not that one, but other ones too. It depends, but sure. I mean, it can be. Yeah. It can be. There's tons of shower sequences where it's not at all. Mm -hmm. And then there's like Sorority House Massacre Mm -hmm. where the curtain is open as they're showering and they're soaping up their tits for like literally a full, like two straight minutes up close on the camera. Of course that's sexualized. It doesn't matter. Uh, but, you know, I can talk about tits and sexualized uh, <laughs> breasticles for the entire video if you want. But we're going to move on from there. Uh, the film definitely starts with a lot of misogyny. I can tell you that. Adrian Barbos shows up and they're like, ugh, they sent a woman out here? Yeah, their reaction. <laughs> I mean, probably what a uh, time like that would have been like. So, probably not far off. Mm-hmm. Right? 1982? 100%. <laughs> 100% this is how guys would have reacted. Um, this is scored by Harry Manfredini, which is funny because we, in the last film, we're talking about how the composer sounded a whole lot like he was trying to rip off Harry Manfredini. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, well, I might as well just go get him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get Krug or Krug. Remember? Kruger. Krug. Krug? Kruger. No, Krug. Uh, from Last House on the Left, he's one of the, um, he's one of the mercenaries mm-hmm. who is doing his best Rambo impression with that yeah. nice red bandana his around bandana. his head. Uh, but I think this was pre-Rambo, uh, like when Rambo got the iconic bandana around his head. Like Rambo 3 is really like where that bandana came uh <laughs> From. Now, he wears one before that, for sure, in the first one. But it was, like, the iconic, like, putting it on. It's on the cover that's, like, you know. It's already, like, Gizmo mm. from, you know, from Gremlins 2. Mm-hmm. Even donned the bandana around his head to pretend that he was... Maybe he was pretending to be Krug. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I... <laughs> Probably Small not. Thing first. Probably not. Um, I don't know what the hell his name is in this. But we do get Ray Weiss in here, who is the Swamp Thing himself. I did not realize Ray Weiss was the Swamp Thing in this. I didn't think that that was the same actor. I thought somebody else played Swamp Thing. I thought he was just the scientist before. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know if if he was in the suit. Yeah, that's. But that's his character. Yes. Yeah, that is his character. I That's think a good it's question. A actor we'd have to we'd have to look up mm-hmm. whether or not Ray Weiss was under the costume. I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure he's not. not. Because yeah. I think I was yeah looking at the credits to see. Okay. And Swamp it, Thing is like 
Like he's that bigger. actor's taller, yeah. Yeah, he's so. bigger for sure. So it would make sense that Ray was not Swamp Thing, but his, you know, he is the Swamp Thing. Right. Right? Dr. Holland. Yeah. So that was, yeah, I did not remember that Ray Weiss was who became Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now, as far as the comics go, I'm not familiar with the comics at all. I have watched um, some of that Swamp Thing show. That was on uh, DC Unlimited before it switched to like HBO Max, but then they canceled the show before it ever even aired. So that's like why I watched some ep- like some episodes and then was just like, "Am I going to get into this?" And then they're not going to have another season. How lame would that be? It's really hard to do that, you know. They have like eighteen ninety nine right now mm-hmm. that got canceled, and they have other shows that are just like, you know, Midnight Club, which we just watched, and it's yeah. like. When you when you go to watch a show and they leave off on like a cliffhanger, I don't know if Swamp Thing has like a definitive ending at the end. I highly doubt it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, ugh, do you really want to watch it when when you it's know like you're you know. never gonna get the full thing? I do, but man, it's gonna be tough for sure. Um, as far as this movie goes, uh, before we talk more about it, um, yeah, de- I mean, this is definitely a downgrade from. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, his last movie, Deadly Blessing. Uh, obviously, this is like his attempt at making uh, his like comic book movie. And the fact that in his next movie, he has a character named Jessica Jones. Yeah. I have to wonder how big of a fan of comic books Wes Craven <laughs> is. Right. To do Swamp Thing and then have a Jessica Jones, I, I just, I don't know. How old is it? How old is Jessica Jones' character? Is, is that character no old clue. enough to have been taken from the comics and and the name be taken i don't know i don't know if jessica jones is an older uh comic book character or not because i've never read a jessica jones comic and i don't know if she's like a newer um, i only know her from the netflix adaptation so i have yeah i've seen all of that but i don't i've never read a comic i've never read a uh, jessica Mm -hmm. jones comic Mm -hmm. i'll have to look it up to see but I'd be curious on because he did Swamp Thing and he has a Jessica Jones character in his movie. Uh, Maybe. If he's like a big comic book fan, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, this definitely felt like the genesis of GMOs. Right? <laughs> yeah. They're trying to like create Frankenstein plants to survive different climates. Um, With the intention of helping end world hunger sure yeah i think a lot of scientists start with good intentions yeah i do too right and then either they um are corrupted or have to be corrupted right like their work gets stolen from them and that's what happens here right like he is opposed to this and it has to be stolen from him uh as opposed to another scientist that's just like i'll sell out yeah i don't even know if they like really approached him to be like, hey, you want to sell out? They're just like, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, we'll just, we'll just kill him and take his shit. Yeah, why not? That's better. Yeah. They could have just maybe just ran it past him first and be like, mm, you corrupt it all? <laughs> Instead, they're just like, no, die. Yeah, die. 100%. Mm-hmm. Be a man. Die. Be a man, die. Uh, <laughs> we get uh, the, like, okay, so the, Plants grow fast in this. They like hit the ground and immediately grow, but nowhere near as fast as the romance in this movie. Yeah, that happens instantaneously. Love at first sight, just like us, babe. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hmm. um, they, they hit it off really quick. They do, even though she thinks he's married. Yeah, but then she finds out he's not, and she's like, nope. oh, okay, never mind. That's I'm in love. actually his sister, not his wife. Uh, because they have the same last name. She thinks that's, that's the wife. He doesn't correct her. And then when she goes back to the lab and she finds out that it's a sister, she's like, oh, <laughs> uh, I'm in love now. <laughs> yeah. That was the only thing holding me back. <laughs> and he like figures out, he has this like eureka moment where mm-hmm. something works and he kisses her and it's kind of like a quick kiss and then they go back in and it's right. like way more passionate <laughs> and the sister comes in and she's like, it's been like five minutes. 100%. This girl has been here for like five minutes. She's definitely shocked by that. <laughs> yeah. And then he pulled out his swamp thing and gave her the business. <laughs> the biz. Yeah. He didn't get to. No. He, he never got to. No. Nope. Now he's going to have to give her his tree branch. 
Yeah. That's growing right out of the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> His knees She's going to get splinters, though. Ouch. Yeah. Um, all right. So this definitely reminds me of the lonesome death of Jody Verrill from Creepshow. We've talked about that before, mm. but just like all the green shit growing all over him. Uh, what did you think of the suit in this movie? The effects. <laughs> I like the Swamp Thing suit suit better than I like whatever his name is the at the villain? end. The oh villain. My God. Um, it's fine. The Party City mask. Yeah, that's not fine. That they that's got on discount. But it's I don't know. I mean, it was fine. It's not like amazing. Like you can definitely see that it's a suit. Like when he moves and it like kind of crunches around. But I feel like at least the colors are right, and I like what they do to his face and everything mm -hmm. like that looks good yeah the close-up of the face yeah it's all right and i mean for the most part he is shot kind of like from a distance like walking in in the swamp so i feel like he blends in well enough yeah um but it was fine it, was, I think, <laughs> it wasn't great <laughs> no no i mean yeah for the time i'd have to look i mean this came out the same year as the thing yeah i mean like I'm not going to compare it to the thing. So. It is Swamp Thing, but it's... <laughs> yeah, you had Swamp Thing and The Thing. <laughs> I wonder which one did better financially. I mean... Probably... Swamp Thing got a sequel. Yeah. The Thing didn't. Yeah. The Thing got a prequel in 2011, but not you know, a long, 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 long time, time after. after yeah. uh, this one got a I sequel. I thought The Thing like, notoriously after. did poorly in did. theaters that's yeah, why i'm so, asking so the swamp thing probably did better oh my god which is kind of crazy because that would be hilarious <laughs> i wonder if wes like would go to carpenter and be like my movie's better oh it's my god more money it's like look at these <laughs> effects and look at he these just effects. shows the guy at the end that's yeah. like a freaking i don't know what he's supposed to be like a hedgehog yeah, I don't or know. not a hedgehog i don't know they didn't even try on his eyes no they didn't even <laughs> they bother they didn't they're unblinking because <laughs> it's a mask and the actor that's running around and they really can't see. <laughs> no. So all the times that he's like, yeah. Yeah, flailing around. And, Those are and, real. Yeah, he, he kind of reminds me of Michael after he gets shot through the <laughs> eyes. He's like... Whoosh. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um... I will say, okay, I like when uh, Adrian, I didn't write anyone's names down, I don't know anybody's names, because uh, I was not into this movie, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but she, like, she totally fucks some soldiers up. Yes, yeah, she does. Like, she uh, ends up getting her ass captured after this. She, it's really funny, like, there's a scene where she's, like, running out of this gas station, and she's, like, trying to, um, you know, distract them away from where it is, so she's, like... Um, drawing attention to herself and she's like hey and she like goes to take like one step and falls right onto her face yeah <laughs> it's really funny she's very clumsy in this movie she falls a lot she does fall a lot but man the way right. she beats the shit out of one of these soldiers is so funny she like hits him in the stomach and like he comes up like uh, and she hits him in the face and then hits him again the f speed in what she does she's like She's fucking... She's super fast. She's the dude from Kickboxer. <laughs> yeah, but can he move like me? <laughs> right? That is her. <laughs> she's just got that speed. Yeah. I don't know. But she's... then she can't walk. No. No. All of her talent went to her arms. <laughs> <laughs> Not her legs. None to her legs. None. Zero. Yeah, she's grabbing machine guns and freaking blowing people away, but she can't walk. Yeah. Why that's not? all right. <laughs> Uh, one dude gets shot in this and gets yanked back so hard oh from the gosh. gunshot. Yeah. It reminded me of that scene in Django Unchained when he's like, say goodbye to whoever, and he shoots her and she's yanked out of the room. <laughs> it's so funny. Dude, I was like crying in the theater when that happened. I thought it was so funny. Um, when the most ridiculous scene in the entire film, 100% without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, as stupid as the mask looks, as stupid as the suit looks, as stupid as some of the... the like, there's a lot of really funny scenes with the Swamp Thing. Like, um, 
like hitting something and it like exploding or like the yeah. power of him hitting something and it just like the like the when he tears the roof off and the car and it just flies literally away. flies through. there's no physics to the no. roof at all no. it just like floats away like they're in like zero uh, zero gravity yes it's so funny um but putting all of that aside get lost bean <laughs> just knocking the camera around Me. um the funniest and most ridiculous scene of the entire film is when the villain comes in and straight up Mission Impossible tears his face mask off to reveal he's not actually the guy that he was posing to be. He's he's another dude. He's a villain guy yeah. under the mask. It's straight up Scooby-Doo, Mission Impossible. It's so funny. He just goes like this and Kaylee was like, what is he doing? And he just like starts ripping her face. <laughs> and you think it's going to maybe just be like some prosthetics he put around his chin, his yeah. nose or something it's to make him look a little different. Entire oh, no. head. Whole head. I was so confused by that. I was like, wait, what? They're that good that like no. nobody knew he was wearing a mask. <laughs> Watch the episode of Mythbusters where they tackle this and they try to reproduce like an authentic mask of each other the it's... two guys like make masks of themselves and try and get like the world's best mask makers to come in and try to make it exact and, and try to do a mission impossible thing and they wear them over their faces around the office and walk by people to see if like they'll notice and it's so I'm obvious sure that, that yeah, their faces are not their faces. Humans are like so tuned to noticing faces and yes. facial expressions that it's like one of the hardest things to try and like recreate. And it's why like, you know, animatronics and such give us like that uncanny, uncanny valley. valley. Yeah. So was, I, don't, I was so confused because, yeah, I thought it was prosthetics on the lower half. And he's like, no, it's <laughs> no, the whole my thing. Whole I was like, face. what? That was crazy. And then he puts it back on, doesn't he? No. Oh, I thought he put it back on later. He's just like, whoosh, I'm back on. No, <laughs> he's, like, he stays villain that guy. mask, like his face mask was a ba- amazing, but then they're like Spirit Halloween. <laughs> Spirit Halloween for the villain. Yeah. It's it's a bad wolf mask. And I'm not really sure. I'm assuming in the comics he has like an arch nemesis that's like a wolf thing. I don't know what it was. I don't think it was a wolf. I was thinking it was like a mixture of like, it's not a hedgehog, but like a, oh, a ba- like a badger or something. Mm-hmm. It's like a badger mixed with a bear mixed with a wolf. Maybe it's a badger mixed with a mushroom, mushroom, a badger, 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 <laughs> badger, badger, badger. Because his body did, cut, does kind of look mushroomy. Yeah, it does. I um, thought he was a mushroom actually at first. Yeah, you did. That's like, what made me think of the badger song. Yeah. yeah. I was like, he's a mushroom. Oh my God. And then it's like, no. They should have done that all over his body. Badger, badger, badger. Like in his face with his stupid little yellow eyes. And it's just like, badger, 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 badger. And then show his body mushroom, mushroom. That would have been super funny. That would have been really funny. Um, but that song didn't exist at that time. No. So couldn't have done it. Nor would they have. Because they were like dead serious when they brought that out. They're like, dude, check this out. <laughs> like look at him it's so funny guys i'm sorry like i have to roll my eyes every time the people get into this whole like practicals versus cgi and that practicals are always better they're not always bro. better bro i love practical no. effects a hundred percent i love true. that they give us things like this but like it's not good <laughs> no like it's definitely not good there are places for the practicals. There are places for CGI. And amazing CG and amazing practicals both deserve the same level of praise and acceptance. Mm. Right? Like, there's... I mean, go see fucking Avatar The Way of Water and oh tell God. me that, that they could do that practically. Yeah. Tell me that it would look better practically. Watch fucking any of the Marvel movies right now and tell me that 99% of the movie would have looked better practical. Like, are there certain things that they could probably, like, do practically that would look better? Right? Do they have sets? Like, if you watch Andor and you watch, like, uh, Obi-Wan, right? Like, there are sets that you can tell they're on the volume and you can tell there's a lot of CG going on in the towns and whatnot. And on Andor, everything's a practical set. So, in those instances, sure. Yeah. Right? But (laughs) to say CGI is just outright abhorrent and needs to no longer exist is 
outrageous. Yeah. There's so much amazing CGI out there. And there's so many incredible artists that work tirelessly. And this is something I've been preaching for years. Like, people are like, oh, the craft of practical effects and this and that. Do you have any idea how complicated it is to do the CGI that people are doing these days? Mm-hmm. It's more complicated yeah. than practical effects. And it literally takes like a hundred people to do like one scene. It's a thousand people sometimes. Watch the the wall of text that comes down mm-hmm. when you're in like a, when you go see like a Marvel movie or an Avatar, as I said. When you go see the new Avatar movie, look at the the special effects people that were involved in it, and they're all at the top of their level using the most sophisticated uh, you know technology available. So this whole practical thing, I get it. In horror, I almost always want practical. So yes, most of the time, keep CGI out of horror. But there's a time and a place for both. Uh, so I, I just hate that. I, I, I get so much like snobbery mm. that I see online of like, oh, practical. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Both have their, you know, both are both can be wonderful and both can be awful. You know, you can have Avatar The Way of Water and you can have the Langoliers. Right? Mm -hmm. You can have fucking Lawnmower Man 2 Job's War. Watch something like that. Yeah, CG doesn't look that good sometimes. Right? But Avatar. Holy shit. (laughs) That movie is insanity. Just look at it and tell me there's anything wrong. (laughs) Anyways, moving on from that. It just gets... Pisses me off. Um, And I like that um, the villain in this like takes the serum or whatever and he turns into this like you know major foe like strong beast thing Mm -hmm. but like when they give it to bruno no 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 bruno turns into this like little freaking i don't know deformed midget thing (laughs) i don't know what happens to him he shrinks it's because that's the hilarious. reflection of what he's like inside, I guess. Is that what you think? That's what they say. Oh, like okay. it just enhances what you are what inside. You are, oh, which I, I must have missed that line. Yeah. That's funny. Well, that's why. The, so the other guy's a beast. That's why the, the villain loves. decides to take it because he's like, so if a genius took it, right? Like, I'm gonna be oh, amazing yeah. then. Okay, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm, totally yeah. forgot about that. But it is really funny. We watched it last night, and I've already forgotten like half of this film. That's hilarious. Oh. This is such a forgettable movie. <laughs> yeah, it's not super. I mean, I, I don't know. I can totally I'll see nostalgia. It. Yeah. For this film, yeah, like definitely. if you saw it back then, and it was like, oh my god, you know, such a cool comic book movie. Like I get it. Yeah. But watching it in 2023, it's like what. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I needed to see this back in uh, the 80s. Yeah. And maybe I'd have uh, fondness for it. Mm. A lot of green lighting in this movie. What does it think it is? Saw. <laughs> um, and I like when the guys kill their, like, you know, um, associate. And they're, like, they're out there. Um, and there's, like, some friendly fire. And it's just kind of a whoops. Back yeah. to it. Like, oh no, killed Jim. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, well moving on. Yeah, they're they're just kind of like, oh, what do you, what'd you do? I know, they're like pretty nonchalant about it. All right, it. go back to it. And it's <laughs> like, man, I would not want to work with that crew. No. Yeah. Um, the kid that she meets from the convenience store or the gas station or whatever uh, is probably my favorite part of the movie. Mm. Outside of the like two and a half minutes of straight gratuitous nudity. I probably <laughs> I preferred his... that the most. I liked his character. I think I liked it a lot, actually. I found him to be pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like when the, when Adrian Barbeau, before she knows who he is, before they're like, you know, uh, you know, friends, she sees him and, you know, these guys are shooting at her, at him, you know, he's fighting with everybody and her plan to get him to go away is to look at him and go shoo shoo (laughs) i don't know that reaction was so funny and weird like what are you doing 
Yeah, she's karate chopping soldiers, grabbing machine guns, blowing people away. She just and to the to monster, him. she's like, shoo. She, she like legit. She's like an animal. Yeah, she, she does not have any like, she's not even like scared. She looks like she's more like annoyed. Yeah. And she's just like, go away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. shoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really funny. It's so weird. Um, I, I, I had to laugh at that, <laughs> at that one. Um, and yeah, I already talked about his power in this is just insane. Um, and Swamp Thing like straight up turns into like either Ray from Rise of Skywalker mm-hmm. or E.T. Yeah. Where he has that healing touch. Yes. He can heal. Or Grogu. Or Grogu. Yeah. yeah that's Grogu great. has the power to heal it's too. The nature in him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, a hell. Ability. Yeah, he can grow back his limbs yes. after they're cut off of his body. Yeah, he can heal people. He's a goddamn superhero. Yes, it's almost like he's a comic book character. Almost like. Almost, <laughs> almost. Um, PG stands for pretty gratuitous tits. That's what I put. I don't know where oh, I got yeah. the T from. Uh, then my next comment <laughs> was so many tits. It's just so. Mu- it was. It was so insane. I just kept saying like. Is this real? Is this like really a PG movie? This yeah. is crazy to me. Um, yep. Yeah, and his transformation, the bad guy's transformation, is like intense, but it's super funny. Yeah. And then he the like immediately really grabs a sword. I know. Like what? <laughs> He's just running around like a barbarian with yeah. some freaking Conan sword. So funny. And then yeah, he's defeated pretty easily. Yes. Does this make you want to watch Return of the Swamp Thing? Not really, but I will. <laughs> it was not directed by Wes Craven. Well, then but I won't right now. I definitely am interested in watching it. Yeah, at some point I'm sure we'll see. I have a feeling that that would be really funny. Yeah, I think so. And a good time. <laughs> so I'm going to definitely try to get her to watch it. <laughs> um, but it's interesting. With the Wes Craven watch through, there's been a lot of that so far. Where it's like we're watching Last House on the Left, and I'm like, oh, there's a remake. And we're watching Hills Have the Eyes. Hills Have the Eyes. Hills Have Eyes, and I'm like, oh, there's a part two. Mm. And there's technically like a part three Mind Ripper with Lance Henriksen that I have on uh, Blu-ray that I've never seen. It's not really a it um, a Hills Have Eyes three, but it was like originally pitched as that or whatever. So like the company's selling it like that. Mm. So like it's not, but it but it is. I, mm-hmm. And then there's a remake and a sequel to the remake. Um, and then there's the Swamp Thing, which then has a sequel. And then the Swamp Thing has a television series as well. Yeah. It's like everything we keep watching. I'm a like, oh, this makes me want to like show you this, 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 and this. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of frustrating. I'm sorry. No, it's not a bad thing. It's just like, oh, I want to watch this. But it just reminds you of how little time you have. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to watch all of it. Yeah. So, Swamp Thing. Um, not, not a terrible watch. It's on Tubi, yeah, of course. It was fun. It was, it was fun. It was fun to laugh at and be like, For wow, sure. this is what comic book movies used to be. Yes. Yeah, definitely. We've come a long way. Very We've come a way. long way. And I'm sure there's people out there that prefer this mm. to something like Avengers Endgame. But y'all are crazy. It's the nostalgia for sure. Yeah. Like Ant-Man, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium comes out in like a week. Mm -hmm. And it's just like thinking about like when I'm watching that, I'm going to be thinking about this movie. (laughs) And I'm going to be like, this is where we came from. Yes. This is how it was. But I mean, hey, you can even go back. crawl. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, go back to, you know, the Adam West Batman movie. Mm. Right. Oh, my good God. Right. And there's all sorts of examples like that all the way through time uh, in in film. Right. Where you you have. Yeah. You you have to figure it out and they get better and better. And some people prefer these. And that's totally fine. I just think they're insane. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> all right guys 